action, tears. Live from Hollywood, this is The Robert Report. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the long-awaited Robert Report. <laughs> long-awaited indeed. He had to check to see if his legs were still there. <laughs> was, they're uh, here. Just, just so you guys are we're all wondering. Uh, we've waited. We've waited so long for this. We've waited what feels like an eternity. And I, for one, am so excited. Aren't you? We will embark on a journey. Uh, will we embark on a journey to everlasting love? Or will we witness another host getting canceled? Will another man come out as gay? And will we see Katie's battery-operated black box oh that we know boy, and love? Robert. <laughs> These are the burning questions that I have. These are the questions that keep me up at night. And throughout the next, what feels like 12 weeks, perhaps, we will get to the bottom of all of it. I promise you. And yes, I said 12 weeks, so it's going to be a long, long time we'll be getting these. As always with my... <laughs> Take us a big breath. <sighs> <sighs> I am so excited. Buckle up, folks. <laughs> Here we go. As always, we begin the show with uh, meeting all the all of Katie's human suitors. Yes, human, not battery operated. Oh it's a my God. Of... <laughs> he just he just digs in on it. He just, it's not enough. It's not enough to just... Say it once. You gotta throw it. Here, I'll you keep going. I'm gonna come over and not. turn that volume down on that music. Okay, okay. Well, I can do it. It's all, right. it's all right. It's a total of about 30 guys, and from the looks of it, I think it's safe to call it a uh, school of betas, as we said earlier. <laughs> uh, we hear the phrase sex positive a lot throughout the episode, so it's really emphasized that Katie is really open about and, in fact, embraces her sexual desires. With that said, most of the guys introduce themselves with some silly sex puns. Another guy brings a special guest, which we'll meet in very so shortly. Oh, boy. And this upcoming hottie, I think he's very hot, actually, admits to us that uh, he's uh, saving himself for marriage. Uh -huh. We saw that with another famous guy, <coughs> Colton. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Together. Oh, you should have warmed up. 31, you can't just hop into things like you used to. I got drafted for baseball right when I turned 19. I thought pretty highly of myself. I was, I was pretty cocky, and you know, sports have humbled me. Most people, when they see me, they think I'm a huge player, mm. but that's not actually morally where I'm at. So I'm, I'm waiting for marriage, so I've never had sex. I'm just chilling. The stigma is like, oh, you can't connect with that. But I disagree with that. I want Katie to understand it. I don't think there's anything wrong with being sex positive. I personally want to share that within marriage. That's me. I'm He's a little church boy. Sam's not here today, but I, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we were all thinking it. <laughs> so I was not here today, but I, I, I think she would agree with me in thinking that he's very good looking. He's I, a I don't know, church but, boy. Yeah. <laughs> now, if we remember uh, when Katie met Matt James, she shock, shook all of Batch Nation by bringing uh, her Inspector Gadget, Buzz Buzz, and uh, presenting it to Matt as an offering. This next guy tried to up the ante a little bit. Oh, Watch no. this. I'm already in love with him. Before we get off, I want to talk to you about something a little serious. Who are those okay. girls? Um, the host. So there's been someone no. in my life uh, these past few months that's been really helping me through these weird times. Um, we've been intimate, we've been best friends, and it's been a shoulder to cry on someone that's listened to me. And she's actually here right now in the limo. Oh, let's meet her? Yep. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I'm nervous too. Wait here. Okay. I'll get her. What the? What the? Heck? I definitely don't know what's happening. Why is he going back into the limo? She's what is going like, on? Tasha and Katie are. What is going on? Oh, he's going what back is going for on? something. Okay, good. He left something behind. And oh he has a, gosh. It's a. Oh gosh. It's, it's a blow up doll. It's not a blow up doll. Yeah. Oh my god. It smells like nickels, probably. <laughs> yes. He is a little shy. <laughs> oh my god. I hope it doesn't have a name. This is Sandy. It's nice to meet you. She's been a huge part of my life. <sighs> Helped me through a lot and, you know, has kept me warm through those Whoa. cold nights. Oh, so, oh, so warm. So, it was great to meet you. <laughs> nice I'll to talk to you more too. soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah. It's going to break my heart when we see Sandy uh, get sent home. I'm, I'm sure she will. <laughs> 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 I, will, I will sign a contract for five more episodes or five more seasons of this dumb TV show and your breakdowns of them if you continue with jokes like that. So. <laughs> Anyways, th thank you, Andrew. It's very sweet of you. Anyways, this next fella seemed like a weirdo at first. He came off as a creep and uh, to me, uh, he was definitely made fun of from the guys inside the house. He seemed a little weird. He seemed a little strange. But he ends up growing on me and especially Katie because he came dressed as a pussycat. Oh 
Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm leaving too. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, my. <laughs> this is a cat. cat. There's a tail, isn't there? That's your no. cat no walk, way. too. Boo. Hi. Hi. It's uh, so nice to finally meet you. Oh it's nice God. to meet you. <laughs> nice to finally meet you. Of mice and that. beta men. Uh, my name's Connor. I'm a math teacher from Nashville. Oh my god. And I heard you were a huge cat lover. I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> so I was hoping that this uh, would make you want to ask me out. I think it's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she, she, it's like she didn't even notice. Some, <laughs> some grown man got out of a car in a cat costume. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go find a nice tall glass of milk. Oh, enjoy. So, okay. Okay, to yeah. be fair, it is television and one of the the dumbest things on television. So I get it. Like a good good job. Do yeah. you think he actually came up with it? No. I think so. No. 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 I don't think so. Either a producer did or maybe he made like an offhanded comment or they gave everybody a list be like we need one of you to dress up like a cat, we need one of you to bring a sex doll. We need one of you they to- They probably cast uh, it. Yeah. I mean, yes, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I actually really liked them and it ended up working up magically for him because we find out that Katie loves cats. Like, really, really loves cats. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yes? Yes? Good! She gave us double she thumbs up. She gave us double thumbs up. <gasps> Meow. <laughs> I'm a crazy cat lady. I love my cat. He's crushed at the door. <laughs> oh my god. He gets my sense of humor and coming out in a cat costume. I mean, it's the way to my heart. Dig in the cat. The, the bar <laughs> for the bar for humor on television is a lot lower than it used to be. Mm. Yeah, you I mean I think about if you or I ever did anything like this, like <laughs> Wait, Robert, question. Is sure. the old way, did it used to be? Are the are the first impressions always like this where like Chris Harrison was never out there with the contestant? They were you they they always like lurking in a window looking out at well, the Well, Chris was never lurking, no. <laughs> but, we, the, but he wasn't out there with like no, he wasn't he wouldn't off be to out the there. side. No, 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 yeah, yeah. He'd be like nearby for consultation if, if it was something <laughs> weird or something. <laughs> consultation. <laughs> yeah, how'd that go? And she showed her appreciative shit to Connor, not with catnip, but rather a little grooming of the tongues. It went oh, very goodness very nice gracious. Yeah. Grooming of the tongues? Like a cat pun or a cat costume, like knows what they're doing. I was so excited it was you. I, even from very early on watching your season, I what? Oh was my gosh. Cool. I don't know, everyone's <laughs> probably saying like, that. Anytime I watched your season, I'm like, no, you're you so were, here. You were amazing. I'm glad ah. that's, what I, that's what really drew me to you, is that ah. you're a person like who a... wants to Stop! Build, but Stop the tape! To tear people down, and that's something I really connect with. Oh my god, I gotta go. I can't. Yeah. So, I can't. I can't, 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 can't. I hate it, you know? No, it's been fun. Look! Bobby. No. <laughs> what? I'm really hoping I don't get my whiskers on you. Oh my god, you got it over your Oh my I'm god. Sorry. You don't think- First I, of all, is it I that thought, easy? And second of all, we were just- <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was so endearing. I really liked him. I thought the way he was like, he was like very like shy a little bit and the way he was like kind of sweet. I don't know guys, you're not on the same page there? Okay, all right. <laughs> well, one thing I have to say is his tongue might've felt like scratch paper, who knows. Um, <laughs> The, the computer in the room is overheated. <laughs> it's so upsetting that the electronics at the robots are like, please stop. He's at the top of my list so far, but whatever. This next guy gets no What? Points. <laughs> How on the... W you? He was so sweet. You're like, the most judgy getting... person I've ever met in 32 <laughs> years of living. <laughs> and this loser is the one for you? The dude who shows up in a cat costume and who's making meow jokes is the guy that you like the most. Oh man. So far, so far, but we'll, we'll hopefully hopefully that does change. Hopefully we find out someone better. But this next guy, he, he gets no preference for his cringe. He made me vomit in my mouth after trying to show Katie how to hug. What the heck? Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Entrepreneur. Well, things fine. Unemployed. Unemployed, yeah, no job. Right, the quarantine? So, um, we're living in some You just made out with time. a cat. Don't be bringing up quarantine. <laughs> I now. feel like people aren't connected enough and people are definitely not hugging enough. So, so I wanted like. to like share with you one of my favorite hugs. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna embrace here. Okay. 
so one of my favorite hugs. Right? right? Does that what? mean like you have got a an list? arsenal of you hugs? Six or seven kinds. What? That's nice. You know, I feel I feel pretty connected. I hope that <laughs> down a bit. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> no! He says, I hope you feel a little more calm now. I think that calmed down everything in her, inside of her and brought her down like all the way to zero. Oh so, yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He gets the boot after that one. Um, yeah, because I was yeah, just so, I wonder why. so cringy right there. A 35 year old entrepreneur uh, teaching you how to Who comes up and hug. does the hug. Yeah. Uh, anybody with a favorite type of hug. Just <laughs> exactly, red flag. Exactly, red flag. what? Yeah, along with that- I only know. break this one out on special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> Generally save this for family members, okay? It's very platonic. <laughs> this oh, next man. guy thought it would be cool to show up in a very, very dirty, dirty, dirty RV straight out of Breaking Bad. Watch. Wow. There. Oh, thank you. I promise you, it's just iced tea. Thank you Don't so worry. much. It's just iced tea. Is he on the, are they on the bus? Yeah. I'm just trying to show you the bedroom. <laughs> An <Cheers>. RV. <laughs> to Katie. Mm. The RV. Ooh. It was definitely lived in. I'm happy to finally meet you. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long two weeks. Of what the hell? To see you guys. At one point while Chomping we're talking, on a pickle or what was that? Starts to eat celery. Oh god. Oh, hold on a second there, Katie. Oh, oh, oh. Let me move all this over. Oh my gosh. Trust me, this is the cleanest you'll ever see it. Okay. He's throwing his dirty boxers. And this is not unfortunately, real. Unfortunately, I just wasn't feeling the vibes no, with they, the RV. They lit it. It's all very wow. lit. You guys don't buy it. Sounds like you're not buying it. No, that's, I thought that's it was some. Plant. I thought he was gross. There was some character out of Big Mouth. That guy. He got sent home as well. Um, but this last guy. Those last two guys sucked. I know. But I want to end this segment on a guy that I thought was really hot, but mostly because of his accent. Tell me oh, if you could boy. tell what it is. I like Silly it. and not take it too seriously. I don't know if there's a genie in here, but I'm hoping we can rub one out together. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> I think it's important for a guy to lead with humor. So I'm happy a lot of the guys did that tonight. And you guys call it? What is it? Well, the prompter says Boston, so. Oh, <laughs> thank you. So Philadelphia, I guess, or don't name your clips what the answer to the, uh, the quiz yeah, is. Guy, you said, what did he say? Uh, I'm not going to repeat uh, it because I'd like to keep my job. <laughs> Anyways, that's the Robert Report for today, guys. We met the guys. We It's about 30 of them. We're down to 28. I don't know. Uh, Cat Guy's still number one on my list. We'll see how that is next week. So, there you go. I'm excited. I think it only gets better. It gets, uh, you know, I, I I like to cringe sometimes. And uh, <laughs> you didn't let me down today. <laughs> All right. All right, Andrew, okay. Yeah, All right. right. It seems like I let Andrew down, but uh, thank you, Bobby. Oh, it was you. Yeah. It was, buddy, it's just it was a, everybody else. <laughs> it, was a, <laughs> it was a cavalcade of... Uh, I don't even know what you would... Ding-dongs? Cavalcated ding-dongs, there you have it. Well, after all, we all just a bunch of hairless apes floating on a rock through um, space. Hairless betas, probably. I guess I'll call my therapist. Two minutes, 30 seconds, we'll see you on the other side. I hope there's a black hole out there somewhere. Just get just sucked just, up just into? Just suck Get it over with, huh? Yeah. Get it right beside it.